Hello everyone. Today I would like to share about life cycle of crayons. Trouble. Content for this video consist of Introduction, talk about the brief history of crayons. Life cycles, consist five stages on life cycle of product. Environmental impact, and conclusion on how to mitigate with problems related to crayons. First, introduction. Let's us explore the history of crayons. 16th century derived from the word cray which means chalk that comes from the Latin word creta. Creta means the earth. notion to combine a form of wax with pigment goes back thousands of years. Encaustic painting is a technique that uses hot beeswax combined with colored pigment to bind color into stone. A heat source was then used to burn in and fix the image in place. This method, employed by the Egyptians, Romans, Greeks, and even indigenous people in the Philippines, is still used today. However, contemporary crayons are purported to have originated in Europe, where some of the first cylinder-shaped crayons were made with charcoal and oil. And pastels are an art medium sharing roots with the modern crayon and date back to Leonardo da Vinci in 1495. The Franklin Manufacturing Co., founded in 1876 in Rochester, New York, was one of the first companies to make and sell wax crayons, and in 1883 they appeared with a display of crayons at the World's Columbian Exposition that year. Some of the earliest records of the modern paraffin wax crayon comes from Charles A. Boley of Massachusetts, who developed wax coloring crayons in the late 1880s. Bully had been selling various stationary items in the vicinity of Danvers and had developed clumps of colored wax designed for marking leather. Hundreds of companies entered the crayon market, but only a few exist today, with Crayola dominating the market in the United Their States. The most recognizable brand was the Crayola Gold Medal line in yellow boxes become generic trademark of crayon. the introduction of Crayola drawing crayons by Vinnie and Smith in 1903, more than 200 distinctive colors have been produced in a wide variety of assortments. Crayola became such a hit because the company figured out a way to inexpensively combine paraffin wax with safe pigments. Let's move to the second content of the video which is life cycles of the crayon. life cycle of product, we will learn about crayons raw materials, manufacturing of crayons, the distribution, the usage, and also end life of crayons. Part 1, crayons raw materials. The first material use is paraffin wax, which was in white and partially clear. It was brought to factory as liquid. The was is inexpensive, easy to melt and also have a nice rub off that leaves enough wax on paper. Dot. Next is color pigment, it's have various of color in a form of powder that made of chemicals mixed together. It's was filtered to remove excess water to make it into chunks and was kill dried for days to makes it into powder it also have optional mixes for example glitter, perfume slash scent. Part 2, Manufacturing of Crayons. In manufacturing of crayons, there were four steps that was needed. First is mixing process, follow with molding, inspection, and quality control, and lastly, wrapping and boxing. The mixing process. Paraffin wax flows from a faucet into the kettle. The wax comes out at 150 degrees Fahrenheit and will be poured onto the whole table. The wax froths in the kettle before being poured onto the whole table. Step 2, Molding Process. This is the whole table, and a close-up of the holes which has 1200 slots for crayons. The employee pours the heated wax onto the whole table and as the scalding wax spreads across the whole table, it bubbles up over the it holes. It takes about 10 minutes for the wax to cool, aided by cooling liquid underneath the whole table. Here, the just poured wax sits dried, and still a bit warm to the touch. And after one pour, the wax set like this, with a nice pattern of dimples over the holes. A roll automatically scrapes the dried wax off the surface of the whole table, pushing it into a bin at the end. The wax is not thrown away. Instead, it's melted again and used in a future pour. The crayons will undergo a lot of recycling, including mixing all colors of defective crayons into its black crayons. After that, 1200 new crayons have emerged, and now it's time to get them off. 
Now, manufacturing of crayons will move to the next step. Step 3, inspection and quality control. This step, there were the newest crayons. In each pour, there are going to be defects. Here, some of them are collected. The wax may not have filled a hole, or it may have settled improperly. The defects are recycled. Let's move to the last step of manufacturing. Step 4, wrapping and boxing. This is the wrapping drum, which automatically applies a crayon's label. Crayons in a hopper are fed one by one into the drum and rotated around until glue is applied and a label is rolled around twice, then the crayons are pushed out of the other side of the machine. One by one, the labels are affixed to the crayons and the labeled crayons emerge from the wrapping Several drum. Several colors of crayons in bins that feed onto a conveyor belt, at the end of which the crayons are boxed and they're packaged. Hooray. Here goes your crayons. You finally know the four step of manufacturing the crayons. Now, we move to the part 3 on life cycle of crayons. The crayons distribution. If they pass inspections, they are placed into racks, wrapped with label, filed into the boxes and sent to wholesalers. The shipments of crayons was transported by truck, ship, train, and plane also known as road, maritime, rail and air shipments. Part 4 of crayons life cycle. The usage of crayons. Brittany and Smith noticed that schools really needed safe and affordable colored crayons as the crayons was usually used for draw, color, or write. But you can also make different kinds of art with them such as molten crayons on a canvas and making new colors of crayons. Now, we move to the last part of crayons life cycle. Part 5, the end life of Sadly, crayons. all things must come to an end, even crayons. Unfortunately, most crayons end up in dustbin and landfills. The paper wrapper undergo recycle process and will break down with time, but crayons are made of a petroleum byproduct called paraffin, which isn't biodegradable and will just sit in the landfill forever. Crayon can be broken down over time by the action of bacteria. This time frame required by the bacteria to break down these sticks of poison takes up to or more than a hundred years. Besides for the bacteria to perform its function and to enable the breakdown process it needs to be exposed to air. Third content of this video, Environmental Impact of Crayon Gas Emission Context Firstly we can see in the process transformed of paraffin when it takes energy to heat the paraffin to liquid form and pump it from the tanks outside in the inside of the factory. Other than that, the gases emitted by refineries of crude oil to produce paraffin wax are harmful to humans, and can cause permanent damage and even death. Other than that, gas emission also emitted in the four step of making crayon when 4% of world's energy were consumed which carbon dioxide was the major gases that it's emitted. also released more carbon dioxide gas emission that lead to climate change in extraction of raw materials and manufacturing. It takes energy and gas for the trucks to transport the crayons when long distance of crayon distribution required more energy of fossil fuel which contribute approximately 6% of fossil fuel depletion. In waste generated from production of crayons, do you know that 150 million crayons are discarded annually throughout the US alone? If we don't recycle crayons, they eventually end up in our landfills where they never biodegrade. This causes uncontrollable damage to the environment. It leads to land pollution and diminishes the fertility of the soil. Attention everyone, we are now in the last part of the video. Conclusion, let's see what are the mitigation plan that we can do to overcome the crayons problem. Paraffin wax crayons not only have a destructive impact on the earth in a huge aspects but also on the children who use these products. As little children tend to lick crayons or put them in their mouths, it poses a risk to their health. Therefore it is imperative to come up with alternative products for the safety of our planet and its children. With the rising need of sustainability and endurance, it is crucial to come up with secondary resources with which the same products can be made. Climate change, global pollution, greenhouse effect are all on the rise and we should take every step possible to curb these environmental disasters. Paraffin also has an alternative. We can use beeswax to produce crayons. Beeswax has more durability. than paraffin and the crayons are much stronger and do not tend to break. It's also biodegradable and paraffins free. There is a solution that we can always come up with to any obstacle we face. 
Two companies in India Aveni Earthcraft and Azafran make crayons from plant-based ingredients. They use walnut hulls, veggies and flowers to make their crayons organic. Other than that, National Crayon Recycle Program, where you can give your old and unwanted crayons to the National Crayon Recycle Program. Just fill up a box of used or unwanted crayons and ship it to the program. There's also another ways to reuse the crayons by make new crayons from the old ones crayons that are too small to hold or are broken into pieces can be melted down and turned into new crayons Last at home. but not least, crayons and colors are an essential part of a child's life but we cannot give them that at the cost of our planet, because if we do there might be a present but no future dot. Stop. Don't forget to done your part by like, comment, subscribe and share this channel. Thank you for watching.